जय बोलो नित्यानंदा नित्यानंद विनाशक ये दुखों के सारे जय बोलो PGR Sindhya from Bangalore speaking I have been coming to the this ashram for the last several years right from the beginning I have been spending time with Swami Nitya Ananda ji I have been knowing Swami ji very well from almost 16 years I have been in Karnataka's public life more than 45 years I have met several spiritual religious leaders several matadipatis and all that and i believe in spirituality so in the year 2000 it so happened my wife went into depression for several reasons so no doubt we gave her the modern medicine so many other things and all that i think it is chamundi studios or so i went and uh, Swami ji healed my wife we met both of us we met Swami ji we took his blessings and uh, few si- more sittings we had my wife was not in a position at that time to go alone so we both went together I've taken her several times and she is completely she was healed that is one just such thing i am mentioning after that subsequently when this ashram was built Swami ji came here and several times i have come i have observed that there is a super power in swami ji that power that super power i cannot explain one can only experience it so i have no words to explain what exactly is that power but i can tell that super power which swami ji has got definitely it is a very big thing not only healing the diseases but counseling the people giving them love and affection building the institutions it's a very big thing and i have also read some of the literature which he has produced some of the finest literature he has produced about spirituality so religion is different spirituality is different and all the human beings if they get into some little knowledge of spirituality things will be different which swami ji is doing i have all appreciation to swami ji's good work i seek his blessings all the time once vakyartha satta started whatever doubts i had i was able to ask and then i myself came to know that i had clarity about well like what i thought i didn't have clarity about but i now i understand that i have much clarity about things and now whatever questions i was i was not able to ask also now whoever is with me like in this group they ask that question so all my questions which all my doubts which i had everything will get clarified and now i have much more clarity about things uh, when i listen to such song i i have more doubt and questions but i avoid to sharing to others when swami ji create this vakya that sadas uh, i have a questions but somebody will somebody will discuss the in barsons will discuss the questions i cl- uh, i clear that questions into in inside of me then i feel complete and now i avoid having self doubt and i try to be comp- uh, compassion with others because of vakya that sadas See before before doing this work as others I I like I used to speak many spiritual things which everyone accepts but I never put it in my action so what did I used to tell they'll never follow it but after this work as others when I started applying it it in 
I started applying all the truths in my own life. I started following it. I took more and more responsibilities, and now people around me are getting enriched more. So what I think is only when you share your experience, only when you give, only when you give them the visible output, when you follow a practical truth, people will also believe and they'll start following because this experience is something a truth that has become a cognition in you. It started as an understanding, and then that alive feeling happened. That there is something really vibrating inside me, and it's very alive. Um, I keep repeating this word alive, but I don't have any other word for it. But it is the source for all uh, that I do, even my thoughts. Witnessing space is actually very complete, that, uh, and uh, there is no boundaries. So the, there is no agitation, there is no frustration, there is none of that feeling there, and that's why it's so inclusive. Varanasi, Anandavana, the spiritual capital of the world. This city is built out of all our sacred sentiments. This whole city is built not just with mud, stone, wood, mortar. It is built with our sacred sentiments. That is why Ramakrishna says this city is golden city because all our sacred sentiments are filled and the city is built.